Hello, this is Andrew Ford, and I'm going to show you how to use the Content Aware Fill feature in After Effects. Here is a video I'd taken off a boat going down the fjords. As you can see here, we have a channel marker. We'd like to get that out. And then also over on the right here, there's this dark shadow feature. This might be natural, but it's in an area where there are no trees and it's kind of adding a blemish on the video. So we can take that out as well. First, we can go to Window, Content Aware Fill to bring up our panel. Content Aware Fill is going to let us remove these unwanted areas, and it's going to automatically fill in the areas to match the surrounding area. So first, I need to tell After Effects what to focus on, and I'm going to do that by masking out the areas that I want to be removed. So here I will create a rough mask around the channel marker. Obviously, the better mask I create, the better results I may get. But for now, this channel marker is sticking out in the water, so I think this rough mask will do. Now, since this footage is moving, I'll set keyframes for my mask path position. When it comes to the shadow in the mountain, if I just masked out the shadow, it's probably going to fill with the brownish rocky or, or dead tree area that's surrounding it. I think I'd rather have it fill the area with trees, so what I'm going to do is mask out the entire brown area and the shadow. As you can see, during this three second clip, we have a fair bit of movement because this is just handheld cell phone footage. So we'll set a keyframe at the beginning and end and see if we have to adjust any in the middle. Now that our masks are complete, we can go over to the Content Aware Fill panel and take a look at the options we have there. We have an alpha expansion here for our mask if we need to do that. For the fill method, there are three options. We're going to use Object Fill, which obviously is good at removing objects in the footage. The surface option is really good if you have something on a smooth surface like a sticker on the back of a laptop that you want to remove. Edge blend is typically the fastest method and that's best used on surfaces that have low detail. But again, here we'll go with the object method. So now we will hit generate fill layer and this will take a little bit of time. As you can see, After Effects is going to analyze the area first and then eventually render out the frames to best match the gaps that we've provided with our masks. Now, once it's done, we can look at the results. As you can see, it's fairly good. You know, it's not perfect over here by the channel marker. Over on the trees, it's not the same level of detail. Overall, this works fairly well. If you want to get better results, another thing you can do is create a reference frame by clicking the Create Reference Frame button in the Content Aware Fill panel. This will automatically export a frame from the video and open it in Photoshop. As you can see, Photoshop has opened and I'm going to take the clone stamp tool and I'm going to fill in the areas that I want to remove. So I'm going to have a broader brush and I'm going to clone stamp this area with the shadows and, and rocks in the mountain. And I'm going to lower the size of my brush and I'm going to fill in the channel marker area. Then I'm going to save this and then I can just get out of Photoshop now. When I go back to After Effects, I have my clone stamped reference image already back in the composition on a separate layer. So now the Content Aware Fill feature is going to use that reference image. It's going to take that into account as it's filling in the gaps that I've masked off. So again, we'll hit the Generate Fill Layer button. We'll see that After Effects still performs a little analysis, does some rendering, and here's the final result. And I do think that we now have better results as far as the channel marker is concerned. There's less of an edge there, and I do think we have better results on the mountain. Now again, if I took more time with this, we can get even better results, but as you can see when you play the video, it's looking really good, and we were able to quickly and easily remove two blemishes in our video, thanks to Content Aware Fill. Thank you.